and welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Malou. And I'm Bob. And we're here to help you with the HP TouchMart PC. We're going to show you a few touch tips. Great. All right, we're going to start off with launching the HP TouchMart homepage by touching the house in the bottom right corner. Okay. All right, so the cool thing about touch is as soon as you get close to the screen, it actually detects your finger from the sensors up here without even touching the screen. Look at that. So it's not the glass that's sensitive, it's the sensors around there that are picking up your touch. Right, exactly. Okay. So as soon as you bring your finger towards the screen, you will notice that it will already detect your touch without even touching it with pressure. She didn't touch it, verification confirmed. Okay, so let me show you something else here. When you're in the HP TouchSmart application, it only takes one touch and you're already in Oh, notes. you don't have to double touch, double touch. Okay. All right. Another tip for you is on selecting an object and moving an object. All right. All right, so I'm going to touch notes right here. I'm going to press and hold. You'll notice the icon comes up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom right here and then release and let go, and there it is. I have a press and hold uh, tip for you guys, not inside the Touch Smart software, but on the Windows desktop. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the Windows. We're here at the desktop. And if you press and hold your finger on the screen, it'll come up as a right click, just like you're right clicking a mouse. And this menu will come up and then you're like, oh great, I can personalize your view and sort by and all that stuff that you do with a right click. Now, uh, a way to personalize right clicks and double touches is if you go to the start button, go to control panel, and then you'll see it's in the control panel home. I like to go to the classic view, it makes it a little easier for me to find what I'm looking for. Here in the pen and input devices, I'm double tapping. And then I'm going to go to the touch tab, top right there. It says here, double tap, press and hold. So if you press, press and hold, <laughs> settings, you can adjust and personalize your press and hold settings. And you can also go to double tap, settings, and you can adjust the speed. That's a big one. People are like, oh, I can't tap just right. So you can slow it down or you can speed it up. Work with it, make it work for you. All right, and then you press OK. And if you adjusted things, press Apply. And then after it applies, you press OK. And you're ready to go. And we're ready to go. The other thing people have been asking is if you can disable the touchscreen, and you can do that. So we're still right there in the control panel where you All were. Right. Still in classic view. There you will notice the HP touchscreen configuration. So I'm going to double touch that. Right there, you'll see the tabs. You'll see touchscreen sound, which is the sound of when you're actually touching the screen. You can make that a little bit louder, or softer, whatever you like. At first, and I thought it was little birds in my house, <laughs> and I was like, where are the birds? Right where it says touchscreen sound there. Okay. And then up above, it says touchscreen, enable or disable. We will keep ours enabled, That's all right? right? So then we want to save that. We've already saved it, and then we're going to close. And you're ready to go. Now, as I'm about to close this uh, bar up here, you can see the X is teeny tiny. And sometimes you might have to hit at it a couple times just to get it right. I'm gonna show you how to make that larger, all right? Using the right click or the press and hold technique with your finger, I'm gonna go to personalize here. All right, and at the top it says window color and appearance. And then we're clicking that and then we're going to open classic appearance. So I'm going to go to advanced. And then in advanced, there's gonna be, it says item, and if you click that little arrow down, a drop bar opens up. Now, if I go to active title bar, it comes up as about size 19, all right? I'm gonna go up to 25. As you can see, as I'm doing that, the X is getting larger, and that's the space that I'm gonna be pressing to, to cancel out. It's also gonna make a couple other things larger. It's gonna make the start button down here larger. It's gonna make some of the icons in the bottom task bar larger as well. Cool. And then I'm gonna to go to scroll bar, because sometimes on the side of a window that pops up, you'll have a scroll bar. Then you'll see, it's a 17. I'm gonna to go to about 25. Again, just so I can see it and I can um, manipulate it easier. All right, now I'm gonna press, I pressed okay. I'm gonna press apply. Now there are other things in that drop bar. Do not mess with those. <laughs> We've spent it. a while trying to figure out how to get it back because sometimes these little items get too small. You can't see them, stuff like that. Just use those two to help increase your size of the X's. So now I can perfectly X those out every time. Scroll bar is bigger and now you can see them clear as well. All right, so there you have a few touch tips. If you have any questions, you can always send us an email at knowyourpc at hp.com. That's right, or visit our website, hp.com slash touchsmart. Thanks again, guys, and I'm Bob. And I'm Alou. We'll see you next time.